So are you looking for some more spring ideas in April? Well, in today's video, it's all about butterflies. And I'm gonna do just a little bit about umbrellas for April showers. Hi, I'm Bonnie Overman. I wanna thank you for joining me today. I hope my channel will inspire you to lead a more productive, creative, and stylish life at any age, always on a budget. And in case you're wondering, I'll be 70 years old this year. And why do I say it? Because if I can do it, you can do it too. <laughs> anyway, in today's video, it's all things butterflies. The emergence from the cocoon is such a symbol of springtime. So butterflies, and you can decorate with them almost all year long. And uh, But anyway, so I've cleaned up my coffee table. I have all my butterfly crafts. I'm gonna show you how to make these things, the paper clusters, the bags, the tags, all of that. So without further ado, here is Butterflies for Springtime. I hope you love it. I hope you get inspired and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Welcome to my DIY for April. It's all about spring and it's all about butterflies. I had so much fun making all these things. I'm gonna show you how to make them, where I bought some of the things. This was as much fun as Easter was. The very first thing I wanna do though, is I wanna show you how, what type of butterflies you can use, okay? So the first thing I want to do is I want to come over to my little box here so I can show you. So these butterflies here came from Michael's. Here's Anna Griffin. You guys, I love Anna Griffin. She has a whole uh, pack called Birds and Butterflies that are all these beautiful um, old vintage style butterflies. The next type of butterflies you can do like this one right here is to use a butterfly punch it's by EK. But you can see if you like you know, the shabby chic look, look how cute that looks. Now here's another one that I punched out with the same punch, but I added a stamp butterfly to it and I'll show you how I did that in a minute. Here's one that I added another stamp butterfly to and it's actually this one right here that's been stamped on printed paper and I just added it to the top of the butterfly. Sometimes I like to add them because it just reiterates that it is a butterfly. Now here's one I punched out and I just stamped it on. I didn't add a butterfly to it. I just used the stamp itself. Okay, and then here's another one I punched out and then uh, glued on one of these butterflies. So that's my next topic here. These little butterflies, these are stamped on colored paper. And I'm gonna show you how to make those in just a minute. And this is another way you can do butterflies is to find some paper that has butterflies on it and cut them out. I wanna show you again this same Kirby Teasdale Studio Pack paper. Here's my paper I was just talking about. In fact, it's upside down here, let me turn it around. So this is the paper I was just talking about with those butterflies that you can, you know, just do it while you're watching TV and you can cut all these out and look at all the embellishments you have for what, 20 cents? So I wanna show you next the different um, stamps I have. Now I'm so sorry, I, I took all the packaging out. I don't know why I did that. I try and save it now so I can share it with you guys. I wanna make a little comment about the butterflies. Now, I didn't even really think about that. Sometimes you go, well, I want something with lots of pattern to it. Just remember, once you stamp it out, here, I'll show you here. If there's a lot of um, inked in area, you can see, see how dark they get? They look very black. And you might, if you like that type of a look, then you wanna use that type of a stamp. Now, I wanna show you the cutest thing ever. It's called the Misty. Okay, and what this is, it's like a little book. And what you do is you put your paper in here, and this is a little magnet, because this is magnetized, and you lay your stamps on, and then you come over and press it, and they stick to this plastic piece here. And you just take your ink and ink it up, okay? Then you come over and you do your butterflies. Now, one of the things about stamping that I absolutely hate is I can never get a full impression of whatever I'm trying to stamp, right? Like it's dark here, it's light here, and you can't go back and re-stamp things because they don't line up. 
while they do here because they're exact so you can ink this as many times as you want to by the way i'm not being paid by them or anything i just think it's a great product and i want to share it if you stop stamping because every time you go to stamp something it doesn't come out right look at that it's perfect okay you guys so i took my large heart medium and small heart punches remember we've used these for easter animals we used them for hearts in february we're now making butterflies out of them so i took i don't know if you can see this i took the big one is purple the mid one here is green and i did two little pink hearts here so i can show you what it looked like there okay and then i just bring this over and of course glue this on now that's kind of a butterfly shape right well, you could leave it like that, but I really like the look of adding these stamp butterflies to it. So you could do pink. I'm probably gonna do green. And you, there's your butterfly. Now you might say, okay, those, those are pretty cute. But let me show you, if you wanna doll these up and put jewels on them, look at these. Okay, I have to show you this. I had an old lace shawl that I wasn't using anymore. I cut it out and glued it on. And then I took a butterfly like this that I had made, you can see it's all right here, except I put jewels on it. Butterfly shape and cut it out, and then you can make it bigger or smaller. It's a Kleenex box, you guys know. So what can you make with all these butterflies? Let's take a look at what you can make. So, you know, I do my paper clusters, and I use those to make um, cards. I put them on bags. And I'm gonna show you some tags I made too, but I just wanna show you. So again, I cut out with my pattern, my base um, piece here. And then you can take some of the paper from that and do the background, because it all coordinates when you buy the pads. And then these are just little leaves I punched out and glued together, a button with a jewel on it, and then two of those butterflies I punched. And what a beautiful card that would make. Here's another one. Now again, these pieces were from a paper pad I had. And now this one, I use the same little butterflies, but then this one is the punched butterfly with the stamped one on top. Look what I made, isn't that beautiful? It's a, a actual like butterfly wreath. Now let me show you what this is. This costs 50 cents and I'll show you what it is. Okay, when I went to Dollar Tree, I'm gonna show you this, the other side of this. So when I went to Dollar Tree during Easter time, uh, they had this butterfly and I said, oh, I'm gonna buy it because buy these things, you can use them for um, patterns also. And you can see I didn't use it for Easter because I know butterflies was gonna be in April. So I made this, I took it apart, made my beautiful butterfly. And then I had this butterfly shape. And you can see I just put a popsicle stick in the middle so I had something to glue all my beautiful flowers on. This is my altered clipboard that you've seen me do month after month. Glued on flowers, and then here's the punch butterfly and the stamped one. Punch butterfly and the stamped one, that one too. This is just a stamp butterfly. And this is Anna Griffin, this one right here. What a beautiful wall hanging that makes. And is that spring? That is so, so pretty. And then I made a second one. Now you guys remember, you've seen this before, that music paper. And I just hung one of these. This is like a little framed seed packet. And I just looped it around the top and then just put some butterflies on it. So you can see how beautiful that is hanging on the wall. And lastly, I wanna share with you tags that I made. Look how cute these are. These are my famous flowers I'm gonna do next month for you, my little leaf flowers. And then those little butterflies that you cut out of the paper. Now that's an Anna Griffin one with a flower and a little butterfly on the top. I love this paper, by the way. Um, it looks like it's got all kinds of vintage things on it. And there's another one of those uh, flowers with the butterfly. And when you do your butterfly, kind of leave them so part of them are sticking up like it's kind of just kind of just landed on it. Look how beautiful. This is all scrap paper, you guys. I love black and pink. Look how beautiful. I even put some jewels on that one. 
Oh, you guys, I hope you loved seeing all the beautiful butterflies. I know I so enjoyed this. I hope you got inspired. I hope you loved it. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye.